If wishes were fishes, I would never grow hungry. If dreams were steam, I would never get cold. Pain and rage are growing inside me. If a tale of time that has grown too old. I gotta... Uh, uh. <sighs> Easier than I thought. <laughs> No matter how gross people thought that intro would have been, I wanted to leave it in because, like, I wanted to... I wanted to tell people that I was going to be in pain at least a little bit, like, playing this game, it would add to the insanity, it would add to the rage, and, like, uh... <laughs> I don't know, like, that also is driving more why I am doing this game, not just because it's scary month, not just because, well, like, <coughs> I have, I have wanted to get back into this again, but I haven't really known what was the right time, and it's like, I don't know what's with me recently, like, sometimes every once in a while I will just get, like, really into things, like, I've been, I've really been on a horror kick, I've been into, um, it's probably because I've been scrolling through Facebook a lot and there's a lot of like dog videos, cat videos, but then every once in a while you'll see like a bat video and it's the best. They're so super cute, you know, like I want, um, like I've always wanted a, uh, where is it? Where would it be? I know it would be mirrored right now, but like facing me, it would look like the right eyebrow, but it's actually the left I've always wanted a stud on that, but now I'm thinking like on my ear, maybe like a a bat and a spider whip, because I think a I think a little bat thing would be cute. And um, anyways, like I have loved this game for so long, it I feel has set the standard for what superhero games should be. It's got the perfect. Um, the perfect kind of combat that, like, melee combat in a lot of other games are lacking, but, like, Rocksteady seems to have it down. I think that's the one, or is it, like, Beanox? I think it was Beanox that made the combat system for this series, and I never really liked any of the other Arkham games, but I wanted to... Can I... Okay, I can't do the settings right now, but I should be able to... <coughs> I should be able to turn the volume down any second now. It, like... What was I gonna say? I was going to compare the stealth in this both to Splinter Cell and Assassin's Creed, how Assassin's Creed should be. And when I was thinking about talking about that, I was laughing because it's like... People have complained about the way that the modern Assassin's Creed is, but, like, they also complained about classic Assassin's Creed, so what is it really that you want, you know? <laughs> Do you even know yourselves? But, um, but yeah, this, like, I have never really liked... Okay, good. <clears throat> I never really liked Batman as a character, like, he, he talks normally, but then, like, as Batman, he's got the gruff voice, oh, he's super serious and all that, oh, Bane, oh, Harvey Dent, and it's just the dumbest thing that you could possibly do, he's so lifeless, he's as lifeless as <coughs> Aiden Pierce from the first Watch Dogs game, actually, I'm probably going to keep dialogue up because, like, everything else was booming, but, um, dialogue kind of seemed lacking, so that's alright. Or wait, no, uh, I know that Killer Croc kind of screams out, so I'm just going to do that. And you can see the subtitles anyway, it's fine. But, like, um, Is Commissioner Gordon yeah, this game a, taught me about more Probably of the Batman villains than I initially knew about. You know, the ones that everybody knows about, like Scarecrow, Joker, uh, Riddler, Catwoman, like, everybody knows those ones, but then there's, like, um, you know, Killer Croc and Clayman, or is it Clayface, Calendar Man, the Humpy Dumpy Twins, all sorts of that. 
the Wonderland gang and everything, it doesn't have Hush, unfortunately, which kind of, you know, that is why I'm glad that Batwoman brought Hush to the scene, because, like, all the B, like, all the B class and below characters that nobody really knows about it brought forward which i appreciate because like even even if i hate batman even if i hate batman <laughs> um <laughs> yeah um i have always liked his villains because they have got they have got a certain Ooh, level of insanity that's unique. Back. It, like, oh, insanity, me, villainy, Batman. it always speaks to me, because, like, Ooh, oh, that's facts. right, what was the, uh, the yeah, other poem that I just came up with? Oh, it me. was like, yeah. uh, oh, I should have written it I'll down. Um, be time enough uh, something, something, yeah. The rules they tell us to live under tears our personalities asunder. Um, something, something. Ah, I wish that I could. Whatever, it doesn't matter. It was basically just like I have always liked insane people more because they. They have more personality. They have more life in them. No matter where it comes from, who cares? Like, um... <coughs> the whole idea started as a creativity comes not from sanity. It comes from being deranged and depraved. It comes from, you know, a place of pain, a place of fear, a place of fun. Everything, anything and everything goes. Yeah, that's where it started. The whole, like, the rules they place us under, tear our personalities asunder, leave an empty shell, um, tearing, tearing ourselves outside of ourselves, leaving behind an empty shell. That's what it was. I'm so glad that I came back around to it. Minor lacerations, probably. I should have probably like started this. <coughs> I should have started this a little later than where it is now, but I wanted to start it right at the start because, like, get him out of here. But um. He's good. Get the door open. Ah. I still hear that every once in a while, that do 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 do, and I feel like it's. It was in another game, wasn't it? It was something. But yeah, this was. Um, I liked the whole concept of this, that, like, the whole asylum just breaks out and makes it their own thing. Like, just anarchy, mayhem, chaos. Is that you? I just want to fight things now. I don't. Get ready. It like it's. <laughs> it's not a cutscene because I can still walk around, which like I do enjoy about games because um, it's kind of like in Mass Effect how the loading, s Mass Effect and Dead Space, where the loading screens were basically the elevators. So that it didn't feel like it was a loading screen, Batman. like you were playing the game just seamlessly. Good. Yes. Eat me. Beat me half to death, Croc. I want to feel your teeth on my arm. I want to feel your... You ripping my flesh apart. That reminds me. I really need to get me some new shoes. Okay, move up. You know, that almost kind of makes me wonder what it would be like if Killer Croc was on a football team because he would just, like, turn just a little bit and and flick five people away with his tail and it would just be done. <laughs> Whee! Great night for a party! 
Not I still going. think that would be interesting. <laughs> I I don't I really remember that. what was I good about Joker except for the fact that he's I just mean, off his mind. But like, I I want him to have Gambit's powers. You know, Gambit from X Men, where he can just like throw playing cards at somebody with like telekinesis. I had a dream about that once, and it turned out really great. It'll get you into trouble. Tell me something. You've never let me catch you this easily. What are you really after? Well, nothing much. <sighs> He's Hundreds after my heart. He's after my love. It isn't Halloween English month. Lies. We're setting Not ourselves up for Valentine's conclusion. Day. Batman and the All Joker running away you off into the night. Matches. Was that the answer you wanted? <laughs> you know, there's a fanfic for everything, but I kind of want... I kind of want people to tell me if they know if uh, <coughs> if there's a Batman and Joker one, and if it's actually like well written. Do it, Batman! I have nothing to live for. Don't you trust me? I want to see what happens when you do it. <laughs> what is Joker, Emperor Palpatine now? Do it. Cross over so, to the dark side, back. Anakin. You, you have no other choice. Bust it out of here. Execute Only Order 66. <laughs> I'll be sure to try harder next time. What say we aim for a hundred? Long night, Jim. <laughs> Joker invades City Hall and holds the mayor hostage, leaving it to <coughs> the SWAT teams, the media, and you. Yeah, it's been a hell of a night. Hopefully wow, Jim, I didn't know you were that strong. Yeah, right. Juggling full teams of people and Sorry, Batman. Batman. Staff I, you I know... That kind of makes me wonder. That made me think of something, an idea, and then it made me think of something again, because, like, what if Batman had armor where he could change his density? He could change the effect that gravity has on his suit. And then I was also like, what if Batman was on the moon? What would he have to fight on the moon? That would be really interesting, because, like, they do go out in space. I remember the old Justice League show. Not too much of it. The only one I remember is this kind of red prison, I guess, kind of floating on an asteroid or whatever, and uh, Jean the Martian Manhunter just phases through everything and does his super cool, like, alien stuff. Yeah, and this was the first thing that made me appreciate Harley Quinn for who she was and actually added a personality to her, which which I really do appreciate, because, uh, yeah. And I wanted to do this on hard because I, I made things too easy for myself too long ago. Oh, it's not allowing me to counter now. Oh, wait, no, that's right, because, um... <coughs> what was I playing where counter was counter was B instead of Y. It was I think Assassin's Creed. Yeah. I want this to come back. I wanted I needed a fourth Arkham game and they just left it in the mud. You know what they could do is a I actually I I don't know. I I don't really know how to feel about Superman because like I, Superman has been around since forever, and like so much of his lifespan, he's been kind of lame. Like, he's been around since the 30s, so like, <coughs> I don't know, he's had room to grow, but it has taken him a long time to get to that point. Um, it's really only with CW's Superman and Lois show that because it also adds emotional depth to the character of Superman where he's not just like happy-go-lucky, always a symbol of peace, always the best possible man, happiness, goodness, peace, health, 
But, um, if you like, think, I'll let you <coughs> a version of Superman where he's like, I think about killing people every single day, and it takes so much of my strength to not do so. And it's like, wow, okay, all right, Superman, like, so many years of my life thinking you were lame and not worth shit, and, like, now you're kind of actually worth something to me, now that you're dark, now that you have things to lose because, uh... <laughs> there is actually emotions inside of that, like, rock-hard exterior. <coughs> oh yeah, that's right, these teeth. I don't remember what these give you, if it's, like, concept art or whatever. You do all the things, and then you get all the things. What, uh, right. Running. Running to my destination. Running headlong into the night. Just pulling open a metal grate that is bolted to a concrete wall. Just no issues with that. Oh yeah, that's right. How do I, um... Yeah, that's right. Detective mode. <coughs> and it's like, sometimes it's better to... Well, I would probably say a lot of the time it's better to look at things normally, but like, especially when you're looking for... When you're looking for people to fight, it's, um... <coughs> it's better to do this because skeletons. Anyways. Throw a batarang. That is what I am doing. I, I can't remember... I can't remember how to do this. Where do you want me to go? Exactly. Was there a... Was, yeah, see, that's what I was trying to look for before. If there was, like, a, a key on the computer that I could press to do the thing. Oh, wait, no. Um, so, if they're there, that means that's where I came from. That's, that's what's confusing me in the first place. So, if I go... It wasn't even... It wasn't even keeping me from going here, it's just because it was a different color and it's like, different things bad. I don't like change! <laughs> Joker's been busy. Alright. These poor guards never stood a chance. Joker's been busy. He's been writing romance novels to me for the past five years and I haven't... <coughs> I haven't gotten any of his letters. Not that I want to. In level B2. You know, Warning. if Security breach in level if B2. the line between hero and villain Warning. was blurred Security more, not just with, B1. like, bad wo Yeah, Warning. bad woman. I keep Security mixing things up. Batman B6. and Catwoman. Yeah, you Warning. know what? Why not Security Batwoman and Catwoman? Sure, Warning. why not? Warning. Okay. Uh... I, you know, how would I be able to time that if I'm trying to finish somebody off? Like, that's, okay, alright. Um, and then where do I go? I hear things. Where's... Yeah, I always, I always gotta make sure that, oh wait, challenge unlocked intensive treatment? Okay, alright, so it'll tell me then. What happened? Joker happened. You're lucky to be alive. He must have gone this way. Door's jammed. I'll try and get it open. We need help in pacification. Door's jammed? Get we the peanut butter. Crunchy or smooth? Can you hear me? I'm with Batman. Oh, wow, Hello? that reminds me. Where yeah, I am so back glad that um, no, Jeff got back to alone. being good because it's like... What was it? Back in June, there was a, um, Franklin, can you hear one me? of their factories or whatever Help's had, like, a salmonella thing, and it was out for a couple months, and it's, like, every other peanut butter that, because I, I have tasted others, and it's, like, I, I feel bad that I had to throw the others away because it's just, like, not good, Marvel, it's, can you hear it's too Marvel, sweet or it's Marvel. too... Joker's like dry doesn't. or whatever He's it's just not army. right if it's not the one that i know you know <clears throat> commissioner gordon is safe 
I'm Joker glad to have okay. things we'll back in, in good shape and good hands. No. You'll only end up in more trouble if you continue. Let me in. Let me in. Can I just like hurt myself down to like down to zero? I just want to. Oh yeah. Um. Ah. Uh, has anybody? <laughs> yeah. Has anybody else just like uh, like say that you know, like not those like high voltage ones that uh businesses have, but like the low voltage electric fences that um farmhands usually have for like their goats or whatever have you touched one of those that's pretty fun have another. good little jolt to the heart thank god it's Zaz. he's got mike he's strapped in the chair Zaz has totally lost it wait here you can't he'll kill mike if he sees anyone trying to get close he won't see me He's like right there. He's seen me run into the electric fence like Please, three times now. Me. If, uh, you know, as soon as he sees Batman walking the other way, he should just like, ta! Just like right across there. No mercy. No control. I have control. The control is mine. Control. Now on, now on, uh, consoles and PC, uh, uh, when did that come out? A couple years ago? I still have to... Ah, I had it on PS4, and I, I, I want it again, but it's like, I'm... Mmm. My life! My life! My bread! <laughs> I always love that commercial. Look! Look with your special eyes! My brain! <clears throat> Anyways. Um... <clears throat> I'm going to <coughs> I'm going to leave it here. Like, comment and subscribe. I hope that you have enjoyed this. I hope that you have a good rest of your day. I will see you tomorrow with more Arkham Asylum. I want to do a I want to do a lot of this. So hopefully you're ready for it cuz this is this is what October is going to be for me. It means so much. <laughs>